Do you use PDFs as a part of your day? Do you need to edit PDF documents or maybe combine a variety of PDFs together? Well, in today's video, we are taking a look at three different PDF editors, all at three different price points to help you find out which one is best for you. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And PDF documents have been with us for a very, very long time. But if you're not using a PDF editor, you may be wasting your time converting documents from a word processor into a PDF and back and forth. Well, today I want to introduce you to three different tools, PDF Element, Nitro Pro, and perhaps the one you're most familiar with, Adobe Acrobat Pro. And we're going to take a look and find out which one is the best editor for you. So let's get started by taking a look at PDF Element Pro. Right from the home screen, when you first open up PDF Element, you can see some of the major features that it offers. Now, editing a PDF is pretty standard, and I'm gonna get into that in just a moment. But of course, you're gonna to wanna to be able to convert your PDF to other formats. And here we see a few different examples, including Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. But combining PDFs may be the function that I am looking for, and the one that I use most often when I want to combine or merge different PDF documents together. PDF Element also allows you to batch process PDF conversion. So if you have a large number of PDFs, you can do so. And they also have a fairly large template gallery. So if you want to get started quickly, you can do so. But in this example, let's take a look at editing a PDF. So all I need to do is select an existing PDF, either it's one I created or maybe one that I've accessed or has been sent to me. Now, any PDF editor should work in a seamless way. And I find PDF Element does a very, very good job of this. As you can see, as I've opened up this particular PDF document, you will notice that there's some highlighted lines around most of the text, but also the images. So all I need to do is click on this logo, for example, Example, and drag it to wherever I want. That's right, I've just opened up the PDF document and I can move things around wherever I need to. And that goes for text information as well. Let's say I need to add a date for this particular contract. I can work with this very much just like a standard word processor. So if I want to enter in a date, I can do so and then continue to add client information or other things that may be needed in this particular form. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy about PDF Element is that the application looks and feels very familiar. As you look at the file menu at the top, as you look at the ribbon down below, things look very similar to a Microsoft product. So I find it very intuitive as I'm browsing through the different menus here, as I'm looking at the different icons which have been used to find the types of functions and features that I'm looking for. PDF Element allows you to create form elements directly in your PDF, including checkboxes and radio buttons. And of course, if you want to add some password management or some protection to your PDFs or place a signature, a digital signature directly into your PDF, you can do so as well. Now, if you would like to try PDF Element for free, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you like it, Simpletivity users can get 40% off of PDF Element. I'll be sure to leave that link in the description below. So the next PDF editor, which we're going to take a look at, is called Nitro. And at first glance, you may say that Nitro looks an awful lot like PDF Element. We have a similar menu and many of the same features here at the top. But as I've been playing around with Nitro, I've just noticed how fast and how quick it is. You even notice here as I'm dragging my cursor over the different elements, just how quick it is. As, I've, as I wanna drag this image over to the left, a very quick and robust experience. Now, one additional feature which Nitro has is something called the Nitro Cloud. And this allows you to not only upload and save your documents within the cloud, but this is very helpful when you are using 
e-signatures because you can track that entire process using the Nitro Cloud. So a nice little enhancement here within the Nitro interface. But when it comes to me, when it comes to seeing if a PDF editor is worth its price, it all comes down to conversion. So let's do a quick test with Nitro. Let's say that I want to convert this PDF document into a Word document. I'm going to select the Convert option, and in this case, I'm going to select Word. Now, the nice thing with Nitro and other PDF editors, at least some other PDF editors, is that you can convert multiple PDFs all at once. They don't have to be multiple pages. You can actually have separate documents here. But in this example, I'm just going to convert the single document and select Convert. And wow, that was, that was pretty fast. That was super fast. Look, here I am now in my Word document. And of course, what we want to look for here is are there any spelling mistakes? Are there any alignment mistakes? And this is a form that I use actually quite regularly. This is my training and speaking engagement document. And so I know it very well. And this looks pristine. This looks pretty much exactly how it does in PDF format. My image doesn't look wonky or misaligned. I don't see any spelling errors here on the page. It's done a fantastic job of editing this PDF into a Word document. So Nitro is priced at about $176. That's nearly twice as much as we saw with PDF Element, but you do get some additional features and the speed at which not only you can edit the PDFs, but also convert, as we just saw, is very, very nice. Now, the last PDF editor, which we're going to take a look at, is Adobe Acrobat Pro. And of course, we couldn't leave Adobe off this list because they are the creators of PDFs. Yes, in case you didn't know, Adobe is the company that actually created the PDF file format. Here you can see just a preview of the many features and functionalities which you can do, the things that you can achieve when using Adobe Acrobat Pro. So, so really all of the things that we've seen before and then a few additional formats. Here you see the exact same PDF document and one of the advantages of using an Adobe product is that there's a good chance that you may already be using the Adobe Acrobat Reader to actually view your PDFs within your computer. So a lot of the display up top, a lot of the menu options are already going to look very familiar to you. But I do want to show you one feature that I like a lot here within Adobe Acrobat Pro, and that is the Compare Files feature. So maybe you have a older version of a PDF and you have a newer version, and you want to see what has changed, especially if you're dealing with contracts and maybe a client or someone that you're working with, they've made some changes in a very lengthy document, and you want to find out what exactly has changed. So here I have that same PDF here. It's listed under old file. And I'm going to select a new file. I'm going to select a different PDF document. And I can change a few settings here if I want to. I can choose if I only want to compare the text. Maybe I don't care if a logo or an image is out of place or missing. But I'm going to leave that unchecked for now, and I'm going to select the Compare button. Now, of course, depending on the length of your PDF, this may take some further time. But you can see that I've got some great statistics, some great summary data right out of the gate. So it's telling me there's 12 total changes, and it even breaks it down by what's been replaced, what's been inserted, and what's been deleted. So I can see that data here on the left and right of the screen. Now, if I scroll down, I'll actually see the two PDFs side by side. And I really like the way that Adobe visually displays this information. It may seem like there's a lot going on here, but I like how they sort of keep things attached. So I can see, even if I'm on a different page, that wait a minute, some of this is related to up here, to what we see in PDF one, to PDF2 over here. Now, is Adobe Acrobat the only PDF editor that can handle comparing? Uh, no, there are other PDF editors which do this functionality as, as well, but I don't think there's another PDF editor that does it as well as Adobe Acrobat. 
Now for all this advanced functionality, you are going to be paying a premium, especially if you're comparing it to the other two PDF editors on today's video. Acrobat Pro goes for $15 a month, which works out to $180 per year. Now you might think that's very comparable to Nitro, but remember, that's $180 per year year you need to keep paying that fee month after month so you may want to take that in, into consideration as you're selecting the best pdf editor for you well i'd love to hear from you next what do you think of pdf element nitro and adobe acrobat pro which one do you feel is right for you and if you have experience with any of these pdf editors be sure to tell me in the comments below thank you so much for watching i hope you give this video a like i hope you subscribe right here to the simpletivity channel and be sure to leave a comment below remember being productive does not need to be difficult in fact it's very simple